Hi, it's Dow here at the Firehouse Car Wash. We're detailing your boat, power boat today and teaching you how to do it like a professional. Um, a lot of today's wakeboard boats come with these giant towers on them. You know, you got your place for your wakeboard, your toys. Typically in the towing process, these can get covered with bugs. Uh, water will splash up on them, drip on them. So you'll have, predominantly, you'll have hard water spots, you'll have bugs, uh, you'll have dirt on them. So to make your boat complete in the cleaning process, we're going to have to go through this. We're going to have to remove the bugs. We're going to have to remove hard water. And again, using cautious, caution, make sure we use the right products. Um, a general cleaner on a rag can typically soften the bugs. Get those clean so you can spray that. And just work the boat, the tower over to remove uh, all of the, the grime, the road film, anything like that. Now, if we've got hard water spots, it's a little bit different story. First of all, we don't want to use any acids. We don't want to use anything too harsh, particularly if you've got aluminum. I could etch it. There are hard water spot removers out there. This one's made for glass. Uh, it says here glass, chrome, stainless steel, and other hard surfaces. So a little bit of that, you know, on your rag. We'll go in and just remove those hard water spots. And uh, again, if you live in an area with hard water, you know what I'm talking about. And you've got to get it off because it knocks the shine down. This will work on chrome. We also, if you've got chrome, you know, this is a more of a, po not a polish, but a brushed finish on this metal here. But a good metal polish cream will take off uh, dirt, debris, and leave the chrome tower just looking sparkling clean. It's a little bit like a wax. You apply it the same way. You know, typically you'd get an applicator pad. Just put a dab of this, you know, on there and just simply apply it, let it dry, and then polish it off with a microfiber towel. To finalize the whole tower experience and getting it clean, often you've got a, you might have a nylon cover as well. Again, that's gonna have bugs, it's gonna have debris. We don't wanna soap it down. We want again, we're probably gonna use a, a towel or maybe a, a stiff, bristled uh, stiff brus bristled brush, that's a tongue twister for you, and just put a little bit on there, work it off, work it over on this side, you know, you can see this vinyl here, you just work it over with the brush, and uh, then just wipe, wipe it clean with a towel. When it comes to speakers, what we don't want to do is be spraying anything inside the speaker. Just clean the housing as best you can. You know, you might get a small towel, some brushes, just work your way through with a general purpose cleaner, getting the dirt off that, but do not spray water. Even though these are marine speakers and they're meant to get wet, you know, you still don't want to force cleaner or any kind of moisture into them or you don't have to.